For years, we've talked about the chaos that's going on at Warner Brothers, specifically at DC Films. Even just last week, we were talking about the disappointing nature of San Diego Comic-Con for DC when they only talked about Black Adam and Shazam. Nothing else. None of the other projects that they have on tap. And now today, the news came out just about an hour ago that one of the films they had upcoming, Batgirl, has been completely shelved, probably for good. Irredeemable Batgirl movie gets shelved by Warner Brothers despite $70 million price tag, according to a source. And based off what Critical Drinker just tweeted, I think this is 100% legitimate and confirmed. Critical Drinker says it's real. Batgirl's been shut down, probably for good. I've never heard of a studio canceling a completed movie before. And the reason that I think this tweet from Drinker basically confirms this is 100% legit is because not that long ago, I was watching the two directors of Batgirl, Adil El Arbi and Bilal Falah, the guys who did Bad Boys for Life, they were on Drinker's channel. They did an interview with them. And even though I probably don't agree with these guys on everything, they are more than willing to listen to feedback, to watch YouTube videos, even of people that are really criticizing them. And I think we need more of that in Hollywood. So honestly, for them, I feel really bad. But at the end of the day, we talked about this, how this movie from the beginning and how it got laid out made no sense. You have Leslie Grace's Batgirl. We talked about Race Swap Batgirl with, you know, you still have J.K. Simmons as Commissioner Gordon in this. You're going to have Michael Keaton as Batman. Like, what is going on? How do you make this work? But it just went along the lines with everything else at DC. What the hell have they been doing? Now we get this report. The DC Comics film Batgirl will be completely shelved by Warner Brothers, a top Hollywood source told The Post. That means it won't hit theaters or the streaming service HBO Max. Fans will not see it. The reportedly $70 million movie, the source says the budget was actually more than $100 million, which was doing test screenings for audiences is an, in anticipation of a late 2022 debut, would rank among the most expensive cinematic cast-offs ever. The tests were said to be so poorly received by moviegoers that the studio decided to cut its losses and run for the sake of the brand's future. It's a DC disaster. They think an unspeakable Batgirl is going to be irredeemable. It's been a month-long walk of shame for the movie directed by Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala. They received not a single mention at DC's Comic-Con panel in San Diego in July, an unusual move that raised industry eyebrows. We talked about this when it happened. To only show, to only talk about Black Adam and only talk about Shazam 2, that's it, nothing else. What the fuck was DC doing? And obviously, there's some massive shakeups going on. We're obviously hearing a lot of noise right now, specifically from the Restore the Snyderverse crowd, uh, because with all of this stuff, you know, going down, maybe if they cut this that had Michael Keaton in it, what do they do with the Flash movie? What do they do with the Flash movie that involves Ezra Miller that has all this other drama in it? Ben Affleck's going to be in that movie. Michael Keaton's going to be in that movie. They just shelved something that's a $100 million budget. Would they dare do it for something else? Victor Zaslav, the guy who came in here and shut CNN Plus down in a heartbeat because it wasn't getting the numbers he wanted. Maybe he would just completely overhaul this thing from top to bottom. And in all fairness, that's exactly what Warner Brothers and that's exactly what DC specifically needs. Uh, there is no direction. There is seemingly no plan. The one plan that they had years ago, they immediately deviated it. They freaked out because people said this universe is too dark. It's not like Marvel. Well, now everyone's trying to do things to not be like Marvel. It's almost like if you would have stuck to the plan, maybe it would have worked out better for you. But it seems like this report is true, that Batgirl is shelved, that Batgirl is canceled, that it's not happening anymore. What is going on at DC? Anyone's best guess is as good as the next because it sounds like they might be scrapping a bunch of stuff in the near future. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. I'll talk to you guys later.